Football Manager. Um, we're carrying on here with the St. Pauli uh, playthrough. Um, and yeah, quite uh, quite pleased with how things are going. We're only obviously in the friendly stage, but uh, we did beat a, a full strength SV Verda <clears throat> after a, a shaky little start at the beginning. Um, we've got S S FSV Frankfurt, who will play our second team for coming up. And then Leipzig will obviously be a, a really big test. Um, as good as Verda are, they're not probably going to be challenging at the top of the Bundesliga, whereas Leipzig will be. Um, so that'll be interesting. Uh, we still need to sell someone to raise some money um, because we are spending over our wage budget and we have like no transfer budget. Um, so I think Finn Becker might be the one who goes. We had, well, we turned down like a, uh, um, what was it? Uh, how much was it that they out Finn Becker we turned down uh, totally like 1.8 million for him which I, I think is low I'll be honest um, I would like at least three to four <clears throat> well I don't know if Heidenheim is going to be able to to give that um, but Schalke would so I'm hoping they've got a really nice kit actually haven't they Schalke um, so I'm hoping that uh, Schalke will be able to uh, come in for him if not we will just have to send some players out on loan and try and lower that wage budget, which we are trying to send people out on loan. But um, yeah, really uh, try and get that wage budget low. I th think that the St. Pauli um, wages are still applicable for us. Um, I don't know if... Yeah, I don't think they count as a separate club. This guy's cool, great haircut. Luis Cordes, uh, shame I can't really use him to do anything. Oh, if you do hear a little bit of background noise, it's because um, I have a, a dog on my lap, <laughs> just to uh, to clarify that for you. Um, she's enjoyed sitting on my lap today, and uh, who am I to deny her? Because we, we desperately need under-19 staff, as you can see, it's important too, staff. So we've got a lot of staff who we need. We still need staff for our, our first team as well, scouts, etc. Um, but we need that money for uh, wages, basically. Um, looking at it, though, actually, what is our our highest earner? Jimmy, wow. So I did really did go full-fledged on Jimmy, but I think it's going to be worth it coming into the season. He's he's shown he's done pretty well in the non-competitive so far. I think that anchorman position that he's in, which is not technically an anchorman, but you know what I mean, um, is going to be really good. James Lawrence... What are we paying on his? Um, we're just paying his eight and a half grand. Okay. Olsen. So Ryo Miyachi is one who I do want to offload as much as I quite like him. Um, I think we're going to have to uh, try and sell him for the asking price there. Because that's seven grand we can get back on our wage bill plus you know, hopefully a, a good few hundred thousand. And uh, so Botta, he's another one who I think we're going to have to try and get rid of. Because we have nothing we can do with him. But the other winger, um, I decided Christian Conta, the young player, I'm going to try and retrain into a striker. Um, I think he might do okay. Actually, he's competent at wing back left. Now that's an interesting one. That would be really interesting. Should we try and do that, actually? Yeah, okay. Let's go wing-back attack. Let's try and train him up as a wing-back. You know, why not? Um, okay. Oh, offers made for Miyachi. 700 grand. Yes, yes. Uh, I don't want the loan offer. So the Japanese leagues are coming in. They want a two and a half grand selling wage contribution. Yeah, I'd probably do that, to be fair. Uh, did they... He's dealt with that. So... Does that mean he has, uh, like... Accepted it? 
O. Interesting. Okay. So Cala's gone. That's good because that's an, that's three and a half grand uh, plus forty k in, in the kit or thirty k in the in the kitty. Um, out of interest, do we have? We do kind of have squab depth on the left in two, but on the right we've got Xander as well. So I think we're okay for wing backs, but I would be interested in Conte as a wing back because I feel like striker wise we're, we're okay. So we've got Diamantis, who I think is going to be pretty good for us. He's obviously injured. He's obviously injured. Only two to three months though, so he'll be back. We've obviously got this guy on loan, who I think is going to be really good. And then we've got Conte. Um, Conte. I don't know how you would pronounce it, actually. Um, so yeah, we're going to keep him because he's young and we can, we can train him up. There's no point getting rid of him. Uh, these guys are wanted loans that's oh no he's wanted on a, a transfer uh i don't know if i want to do that to be honest uh yeah we'll see uh but ryu we want to get rid of i guess that valdemar saboto didn't have any offers that'd be good though if we do get some money for ryu that might mean we don't have to sell becca unless we get a really good offer which um would be nice. Fifteen thousand season tickets. So here's a guy who could possibly come in and replace Becker. I do want a scout report there. Yeah, he seems pretty good actually. Young player plays for Seri Seaside, so not going to exactly uh, be wanting high wages or high. Uh, it's going to be relatively low, I guess. Okay. This is FSV Frankfurt. So as I've said, my, my aim for this season is to... Oh, hello. We, he failed to attract offers. Okay. Let's go um, down to 300,000. 350. Like he's he's a good player. Like I don't deny that. Um, my problem is that he's thirty two. He's on seven grand a week. These guys are interested in him. Um, okay, they've signed this kid. Oh, he's good, but he's a winger. Okay, or a left midfielder. So actually, we could try and. What are you doing, dog? <laughs> what, are you, what are you doing? We could maybe try and train him as a left back or wing back. There we go. We'll try that. I don't think I'm going to need a left midfielder. I don't want to waste a good prospect like that. But we will need more coaches if we want to in any way train that guy up to do anything good. Because with what we've currently got, he's going to do nothing. Uh, yeah, we know him. I'm going to add him to a shortlist, but I don't think there's any way we're going to be able to afford him this season. Uh, he looks pretty good. He doesn't. <clears throat> I think he's too expensive. I'll add him to a shortlist. There's no point scouting him, though. Same with him, I think, is going to be just too expensive and not quite ready for the first team. If we're going to spend a million pounds on a player, he's for, me, for my money, he's got to be ready for the first team. Don't think I'm interested in a 27 year old. I'm very interested in him. But he would be too expensive, I think. Here's an interesting one. Hmm. That's definitely worth a keep scout. Oh, young goalkeeper is pretty decent. Not crazy expensive. He's pretty decent. I love a Russian player. Something about them, I don't know why, but I seem to have a lot of success with Russian players. They're usually very expensive though. This guy's actually fairly decent. Don't think I need fullbacks though. Kind of, yeah, central midfielder. Definitely. Um, yeah. I mean, I'd love a Brazilian, but they're pretty expensive. It's Matande. We kind of saw him, didn't we? Yeah. Very tall, six foot five, 23. Would, would be a good target man, I think, for us. And that's something I potentially want to add, but we do have 
Target men? No. 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 Uh, potential. Too expensive, I think. 31, 33. Uh, probably going to be too expensive, but he's interested, so I'll scout him. 1.3 mil. 23 year old fullback who can play right wing back attack. I like him. Don't know if we're going to be able to afford him. Ever. <laughs> uh, but yeah, it looks good. I like this kid. Uh, obviously, we can't afford him, but I like him still, so we're going to keep him on our shortlist. Um, yeah, we'll, we'll keep scouting these guys. 23 year old. Okay. He looks, he looks really good, this guy. I like him a lot, actually. Ball playing defender. Yeah. If I get some cash, he will be one I think who I try and sign. Um, for sure. Okay, so we're going to have FSV Frankfurt. Don't want to put either of those two in, to be honest with you. Uh, but we do want to play our, our second team here. So I'll put Penny in at left back. We'll put um, Xander in at right wing back. Might give Akami another chance. Alongside... Who else will we put up here? Uh, could try Conte. Uh... Try him as like a deep lying forward support. That's even worse. Forward nine. It's even worse. <laughs> uh, deep lying forward attack. Eh, a little bit better. Um, Bettinelli, I think, is a midfielder, isn't he? Yeah, Bettinelli's a midfielder. Parky Young for Jimmy. Who's Carstens? Oh, yeah, he's the uh, young defender. So he can go in here. Ziaris, another. Defender. Oh, I didn't put um thingy in there, did I? Carstens. Didn't want to go in. Uh, Noll, I'll just take off a half time for someone. Um, Butchman, we can play for. Uh, we can replace, sorry, with Flum. Oh, what's up, B? Somebody's seen the apple and they want a piece, don't they? But they can't have any. Oh no. <laughs> and she's now like scratching my leg to say, give me the apple. Can't have any. Come on. Oh. I should really turn off glass wire. It's not going to help me out in any way. Oh, unlucky. Unlucky, but a good hit. So yeah, my, my kind of philosophies, which I'm going to have, is we're going to be a very attacking team. We're going to try and score constantly, even if that means kind of conceding a few. Oh, it's a good finish, Akami. Um, we're going to sign young players, uh, you know, under 23s. But we have no restrictions on who we sign. Like, we're going to be a very multinational team um, but we will also try and bring through youth obviously be, I always love having uh, players who are um, you know from the local area play it just yeah when you train one of those up to be a, a, a you know a world class player it just feels really good um, um, but yeah otherwise we're going to try and do that and uh, try and compete with the big boys. But we've got to get in the big boy league first, obviously the Bundesliga, but uh, we'll see. Oh, that was nearly a cracker. I think Noel's going to be a real, real good player for us this season.
he's kind of the one position that is irreplaceable though which is a little bit of a worry um so yeah but it'd be nice to play with a kind of sweeper because the germans were very famous for sweeper and uh if anybody remembers players like um beckenbauer and sammer um they were you know some of the greats and the germans really made that position um the kind of legendary position it is but and it's a good goal but um yeah unfortunately with the offside rule sweeper kind of it, it kind of went away because it, it it was much harder to, to have kind of like um you know high defensive lines things like that with a sweeper but i think what you you kind of got from there though was the what we nowadays the kind of evolution of the sweeper position is more this kind of um you know ball playing center back who pushes up into midfield you know is kind of championed by a lot of um uh or all this kind of even defensive oh okay they scored defensive um midfielder position who plays quite deep and slots into the the you know the back three you know and and sits then passes the kind of fernandinho role um for man city sort of thing um so it's kind of evolved but you don't often see it played as you know what people would typically refer to as a sweeper but you do um you do see it if that makes sense you see the kind of imagined idea of it in a way without perhaps the actual position being there but um yeah i kind of remember i don't really remember beckenbauer i'm a bit too um young for that just about but i do remember Sammer um and just being like you know what is this position this guy plays like you just you know as he was kind of around before the kind of real kind of evolution of the premier league where we started to see all these kind of foreign coaches and foreign players come in which really changed the style and the the kind of technical changed it into a very technical league rather than being a kind of like very aggressive physical league um he obviously still has a lot of physicality in the Premier League, but you know it did. You, you get that more from the English players, and then you get this kind of technical ability coming from abroad, which was how the the league kind of evolved. But um, yeah, seeing kind of the, the Germans playing. Obviously, the Germans are not known for being flamboyant, really, as a team. Although they do obviously have some exceptionally good players, but. Um, what you okay it's not off but what you actually kind of see a lot of i think is um with the germans is is that kind of efficiency and that knowledge and um like commitment and discipline that you kind of need to do to be a super rock it's very easy to run up the pitch and you know as a defender and you know start trying to you know do rabonas and mm -hmm. step overs it's not really what the position is uh you know it has to be a very you have to be very physically fit you have to be very disciplined um because you know getting caught on a counter-attack if you're halfway up the pitch passing the ball about it's not going to be a, a good look so mm -hmm. it's a very intelligent position and uh, that's what German footballers, you know, of the kind of 90s had a lot of. Uh, if they didn't have perhaps the flamboyancy of a Brazil side or something like that, you know. I mean, I think in some ways international football has got worse nowadays. From a, ooh, okay. From a standpoint of kind of back in the day, you saw you had a country and it had a real like identified style of play you know brazilians obviously were this, this flamboyant team you know you had the italians who were like this you know, very defensive team you know you had the spanish who like to kind of pass it about um english were you know very physical and and you know get the ball in the mixer we're obviously talking about kind of stereotypes here but you know it was it kind of stemmed from the way their leagues were in a way and, and stuff like that um yeah we're happy with that i'm guessing they're not yeah not even they're a non-league side so let's let's perhaps not get too excited by a 
two one win. <laughs> it was the second team though, so um Victor Weber. I said he's could be pretty good, yeah. Sasha Vol Volks. We've got some quality youngsters. Akame, who we know about already. I like him. Uh okay, good. He's coming through well. As is he. Okay. Um yeah, but now I think with the kind of multicultural leagues we get, you lose a little bit of that identity with the, the national teams. And with the way international football is, you know, you don't get the same um it's not the same as it kind of once was and it absolutely in some ways it's got much better um but in other ways it, it was always good to kind of watch you know these these international teams and the players play and you know it, it kind of used to be the um It used to be that uh, play him as support, though. Yeah, I think we can play him as support. And Victor up there. Uh, Penny. Some bubble. Oh, Jimmy. And then. They say the best in this position. They say Rico, but we just played him, so I'm going to go Finn. Okay. So, um, yeah, what I'm trying to say is, kind of, with international football, it's 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 obviously changed over the years. It used to almost kind of be the pinnacle, like the World Cup would be the pinnacle of football, where you'd see these teams play this incredible football. But that's obviously changed. <laughs> uh, over the years uh okay so we can sign shamshun the six foot six dutch defender who i like so i'm gonna do that sod it um because he's not very much uh but alan i don't think we want no we don't want no sorry alan siamsung Oh god, my phone's going off. What's that? Well, I set an alarm apparently for five o'clock this afternoon. Why would I do that? <clears throat> Who knows with me? I didn't label it, so I've no idea why. Uh, okay. I'll let him go out on loan for this season if someone pays 100% of his wages. We, once we get some money in, we'll, we'll sit and negotiate with him a new contract. Okay, fine. We'll offer you a new contract now. 6k what's he currently on 1k uh drop that a little bit down to four you cheeky beggar and stop that a little bit we'll give him a bit more of an appearance fee and a bit more of a goal bonus Oof. There we go. Really uh, making me pay there, isn't he? <laughs> Hopefully we can sell. Uh... Oh, we had a bid. I didn't say anything about that. I don't know if they've accepted it, though. I need to um, 
Responsibility wise. Uh, staff. No, I want to finalise that, and I want to finalise that. Yeah, I want to do that, and that. Mm. So it's just got finalizing player sales, which isn't really I'm hoping. Like it doesn't say rejected, so I'm hoping that this is it. And you know, we've had people who've made four hundred thousand pound offers. That would be incredible. That would be great news. Um, okay. Yeah, I think we, we'll use this team. If you do hear snoring, it's my uh, dog, as I said. Uh, she's snoozing away on my lap. Adamola Lookman. So I don't know if this is perhaps their first first team, but it's obviously going to be a team which is better than ours. You would say, oh, they've got Timo Werner, so I think it is as pretty much fairly close to their first team. Grubby. It's a great name. He's a grubby right back. He really is. Is he the right back? Right wing back. Oh, they're playing the same similar formation to us. With wing backs. If we get a result here, I would be buzzing. But I'm not uh holding out too much hope. I'm not that worried either. As long as we don't get smashed. I'm not too worried. We don't want to let his Timo Werner on the, the counter. He is pretty good. Oh, that was close. Unlucky. Very unlucky. Oh, is he onside? He is. 1-0 up against RB Leipzig. Oh, that's his little stutter there. It's a really good goal from Lawrence. Yeah, I'll just say I'm happy with their performance. Keep it up. Becca, let's bring in um, Bettinelli. Um, we'll keep the rest of the team. I know that some of them are not playing particularly well. But uh, we'll do our best. Keeper shits himself, kicks it out into touch. Um, so I've been watching, obviously, uh, a lot of the Premier League uh, games. And um, unlucky. It has been uh, really nice to watch football again. But um, it isn't quite the same <laughs> without the crowd there. Uh, if anything, what I hope is that this period of time where fans are not allowed in, clubs will see how important it is in terms of momentum and, you know, pushing players and, you know, just giving the, the, their teams the extra factor sometimes. It is having fans in, in the stadium. Just a yellow, I think, yeah. Okay, we might take him off just in case. Um, anybody really tired? Olsen's quite tired. Anybody just playing badly? Yeah, Butchman's playing badly, but maybe we'll bring Olsen and bring on Xander. Mm. 
Oh, he's oh, as tired anyway, so it doesn't really help. Should bring on Conte. Um, yeah, I hope they do, and that they put in measures to protect. Um, by the way, we have hammered RB Leipzig here. 16 shots to 1, 8 shots on target to 1. That is impressive. Like, we are a substantially worse team. I could be onto something here. I don't want to count my chickens before they hatch, but... This team is looking pretty good. If we could finish a bit more, it would probably help out. Um... Yeah, and I hope that they kind of protect the fans in the stadiums. They make this, keep the ticket prices low to encourage more fans and they see the, the difference that they do make. And Because, you know, listen, I'm never going to be somebody who's able to go to every game, uh, even if ticket prices were free, um, because I work weekends and things like that. But, yeah, there are people out there who love it and are getting priced out of the market because... I'll take him off because he's on the yellow. I don't want to get him sent off. Uh, take a Florence. Uh, Jimmy. It would put on Park. Just for some legs. Yeah, so I hope I hope that the, the clubs kind of see that a bit more. I think it was um, Bayern Munich who... Oh, unlucky. I think it was Bayern Munich who maybe a couple of seasons ago like um, decided not to increase their prices because they were like, if we increase our prices for the fans, we'll probably make like three million off off it. But that three million is not really as you know as weird as it sounds. It doesn't affect Bayern very much. Now things are a little bit different now, obviously with the you know the whole um, you know the way the season's gone, but. Um, yeah, they basically said, "We, what's the point in us raising it? We'd rather the fans, you know, be able to afford it. And the Premier League really kind of needs to take note of that because when I was a kid, and it's not that long ago, like I'm probably talking, okay, it's quite long ago, 20 years ago. <laughs> um, I, I, I remember like a, a, a ticket for a Premier League match was like 16, 17 pounds. That was an awesome performance, guys. We absolutely battered them. 21 shots to one. And that is RB Leipzig. We had Timo Werner up front. That is special. What's just to be crap in the games coming up, though? Ugh. Uh, oh, okay. Sir, can they want? They're going to pay 100% of his wages. He'll be an important player. Absolutely. Except... Very happy with that. It's only 350 quid, but, you know, Patrick Burner. It's a great name. George Margarita. Enrico Valentini. And Kyriakos Papadopoulos. He looks pretty cool. Oh, these are players who've gone out, right? No, they, they brought him in. Wolfsburg brought him in. So who is yeah, so a Stuttgart net have spent 31 million, Hanover 16 million. We've spent net 1.6 million. We've brought in 15 players. Now, I obviously haven't brought in 15 players. Some of those were before, but, uh, you know, overall. Like Weisbaden brought in 14 players and not spent a penny. I don't know if they've not spent a penny. No, they've not spent a penny. <laughs> and then they let go of eight. And got nothing for them. And who's gone in the world? So Vidal's gone from Barcelona to Man City. Lucas Liev has gone to Real Madrid. Okay. Philippe Gutierrez from Kansas City to Southampton. Anybody else we've heard of? Not really. Uh, yes, yeah, so SC Campbell are going to see the... Uh, St. Pauli reserves to <laughs> come out and play. Kami's playing, doing well. And we will give him a kick up the backside. Oh, 
Ryu. I don't know what's going on with these offers. But I would really love to sell those players. He's still not got anything here. Oh, okay. Someone wants one of our scouts. Marco Feldhausen. I mean, sure. I guess we get some money for it. I'm going to have to replace them all anyway, so... We'll see what carries on there. Okay. Right, yeah, so reserve team coming in. Dog, what are you doing? What are you doing, dog? Flume? Ah, you're getting comfy. You get comfy. Anybody still tired? Noel will replace at half time. Uh, probably switch him up with um, uh, him. Actually, he's, to be fair, he... let's switch them over. No, let's not. <laughs> okay. We'll replace him at half time. I think my dog wants to get down one sec, guys. Right, Vivi. Let's get you down. Ooh, there you go. Ooh, the yeah, drop the phone. Help, I've got to get her out. Ooh. Okay. Yes, it's just me and you now. Ah. Right. She'd had enough. <laughs> I think she probably just wanted a drink. Oh, Conte. Boop. Good finish. Now I'm thinking I should just retrain him as a striker. I guess we could probably get more money. But really good left wing backs are actually very hard to come by. Uh, wing backs in in you know is a fairly rare role. Um, so, yeah. Is that McEachern from Chelsea? No, it isn't. Uh, no, it is. <laughs> I think there's, he's got a brother called Josh. So I thought, so I recognise the name. SC Canberra, are they in the Dutch? No, they're in the Dutch second division. We should be beating them, really. But but then again, this is our reserve side, so anything can happen. Unlucky. Hodemakers, that's a cool name. Penny. <laughs> I 
Now the dog is scratching at the door to get back in. <laughs> oh, good finish. Good finish. Well done. I got to go there in one sec. Okay, sorry, I had to deal with the dog there. She basically wants tea, but uh, she gets tea at six o'clock and it's 20 past five. So uh, she's just being greedy. Um, right, so one, one. Uh, let's bring off, uh, bring on Diamantos. See how that affects things. Uh, I'll bring on Akame. Sure, why not? See how he does. Xander is a little bit knackered. But Olsen would be as well, so I'll leave him. Better Nelly. I'll probably bring him off a little bit later, but I'd rather protect the uh, players I've got. Ooh, okay. Nice little hot dog stand there. There was a game many years ago, I forgot what it was called now, where you could actually build the stadium up and stuff like that, and it was cool, and you could put like little hot dog stands and stuff around to like raise the um, uh, yeah, revenue and stuff like that, and it was so good. I loved that. And like, Football Manager have talked about it in the past, and they've said they're not, they won't ever do that because it's, it's called Football Manager, not like, you know, Club Manager or something like that. Um, Oh, did we take someone off before we needed to? I thought it was half time. Weird. But that was half time. I don't know, anyway. Um, yes. Oh, Zan just picked up a knock. Okay. So, yeah, it's so sad. But I, I would like there to be a an option to... Even if it was just an option of like um, to do something like uh, when you have a new stadium built, you know, if you get that far, to have some input into how it will look here um, would be pretty cool. I think I've only ever had a stadium built for me once and they didn't name it after me and I was very annoyed. Um. It's a pretty rare thing. Oh, unlucky. The ambulance. Ah, oh, nice. Well done. Um, do you want to make a sub of it? Better nearly I might take off. We'll put on Becca. He's at a, you know, he's at a good fitness level, so. I haven't been that impressed with him in the games he's played, but he he, probably, he needs a run. He's 19 at the end of the day. He needs a run. And I'm not playing him in his most optimal position either, so, you know, there's that. Just trying to make myself feel better if I happen to sell him for a price I'm not happy with. But the thing is, when you're in a league like this, two million pounds can change your season because, wait, please. Um, oh, uh, yeah, two, two million pounds.
<laughs> Sorry, and my dogs are still trying to invade the room. Um, yeah, goal there from Finn Becker after I just said I hadn't said much from him. Obviously, uh, that was going to happen. I will point out it's against a you know Dutch second division team. So. <laughs> To again make myself feel better when I eventually sell him for way too cheap and then in a couple of years time he's worth like 30 million pounds and just move into like Barcelona because that will happen it always does but what can you do as I said as I was saying like 2 million pounds can change your entire season you know that can buy you know a couple of or two or three or four really good players you know for your division um, you know for four to five hundred thousand pounds each who will, even if they're not quite first team, you know, 100% first team quality, like certain starters, will fill out your squad very well. 3-1, decent enough result. And I mean, yeah, stats wise, we did pretty well. Xander's one to two days, no problem. That was our last friendly. We've got the first match of the season coming. Um, I think I'm going to finish the episode just before then. Um, so that we uh oh that so the under 19s are playing who have we got who could play? i don't want to play Rai because he might get injured he can play uh conte i'll play i'll allow to play for 60. Sirkan, he can play stark can play that's it though at the minute the other two i don't want to play because they get injured, that'll put their moves in jeopardy, although I don't know what's going on with their moves and it's annoying me. He's signed, okay. 500,000, okay. Good. So now would be a pretty decent time to uh, finish. Uh, budget adjustment. Because I can go and get some staff. To be honest, staff is my number one priority here. Um, I want to get in some staff so that we can train our youngsters. If we, then the, the money we get from um, Voldemar, uh, we will look to invest in players um, who I'll again have a look and, and see where we need. Uh, I think looking at my squad depth, obviously striker at the minute is an issue, but once we get the two guys back, it's not. And he's seven weeks away. He's three to four months away. So not too bad. I think we can live through. Um Central midfield we could do with someone. I think maybe right wing back as well. I'm not convinced by Xander. Um, I think defence wise we're okay. Goalkeeper wise we could look to replace him woman, but I think he's okay. And I, I'm fairly happy with Bubble and Penny's on loan, so there's no point not playing him if that makes sense. It's going to cost us money at the, in the long run. But yeah, but I think Zeris. Um, Noll and Lawrence are going to be the, the three um, at the back there with, with Avonor coming in every now and then but I'll have a look and see who we can get but we'll do that off camera let's just continue actually I don't really want to continue do I I don't want to try and get some players in as soon as I can but yeah I think we'll finish up there for now um, and then next time we will play our first league game of the season against Armenia Bielefeld uh away from home they are a, a fairly decent team by the looks of it they've got some um they've got a nice kit actually that's actually pretty quite retro but, but quite nice who they got so hartel was their key man in midfield volgasama i don't know oh he's decent yeah that's a worry um oh i remember shriplock i've signed him in the past when he was a bit younger Keanu. <laughs> okay, decent team. Uh, I don't know where they're maybe expected to finish. I can't remember where you find that. General. Media prediction, eighth. Yeah, okay. It's not... It's a mid-table team sort of thing. Upper mid-table. Um, we are predicted to finish sixth. So, there you go. I didn't realise we were predicted to finish so high, actually. It's interesting. But, um, yeah, till next time, guys. Thanks for watching. I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.